The remaining distribution that we are going to explore for our infinite discrete probability distributions is the hypergeometric distribution. A hypergeometric distribution models events with only two possible outcomes when each trial is conducted without replacement. Your first thought is probably this sounds like something we've done before. Isn't the binomial distribution the model that we use when we have two possible outcomes? And yes, it is. Except with a binomial distribution, the outcomes must be independent. If they are not, if the probability of one event is affected by the probability or occurrence of another event, we have non-independent events. And in that case, we use the hypergeometric distribution. In a hypergeometric experiment, there are only two possible outcomes, success or failure for each trial. But the probability of success and failure changes from trial to trial, most commonly because the hypergeometric experiment is conducted using sampling without replacement. Therefore, the trials are not independent. And yes, this hypergeometric experiment is closely related to the binomial distribution that we learned of earlier. Let's take an example from our business of the week. Patrons of the Divine Comedy Store can sit in one of the nine circles of comedy. Each circle holds 12 patrons. At a sold out show, in other words, all of the circles are filled, five poets sit in the first circle with the philosophers. Suppose Dante randomly selects three of the 12 patrons in the first circle to give them free drinks. What is the probability that exactly one of the three patrons will be a poet? That's a lot to keep track of, but don't worry, we're going to sort it out. First, let's make sure that this is, in fact, a hypergeometric experiment. Number one, are there only two possible outcomes? Yes. Choosing a poet is success. All others sitting in the circle would count as failure. Does the probability change from trial to trial? Yes. Dante is randomly selecting three people, which means after his first selection, there are now 11 to choose from. After his second selection, there are now 10 to choose from. Each choice affects the probability for the remaining patrons in that circle. This is sampling without replacement. Number three, are the trials not independent? Yes, the trials are not independent because each selection affects the subsequent choices. Here are some other examples that we'll examine using our Excel spreadsheet here coming up next. What if instead of only one person selected at random being a poet, what is the probability that exactly two of the three people randomly selected will be a poet? Or if we increase the number of patrons, let's say there are now 24 patrons, six poets, and Dante is going to select five patrons, what would be the probability that exactly three of the five will be a poet? Or the probability that three or fewer will be a poet? Those are the kinds of questions that we can answer using an Excel spreadsheet that I've created for you for how to calculate hypergeometric probabilities.